Good morning and welcome back to it, your Wednesday edition of the Now Morning Show. And this morning, we have the privilege of chatting with representatives from the largest service organization in the world. The Lions Club International serves communities, gives hope, and impacts lives. And this morning, District Governor Shabiki Kazabon joins us to give us an update as to what these lions have been roaring about. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> good morning and welcome to the No Morning good Show. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, we had to because <laughs> you are overseeing quite the district. Now, as district governor, you cover what areas exactly? I am the district governor for District 60, mm -hmm. which encompasses Trinidad, Suriname, and Guyana. Mm -hmm. So I have 56 clubs under my purview and under my watch, which I'm responsible for. So mm. it's a, quite a feat. <laughs> Congratulations. Quite a feat, quite a feat. <laughs> and as you say, under your preview that you mm -hmm. look over, yes. Lions would have sort of started off with vision in mind yes. and has expanded well beyond that. So give mm -hmm. us an update. What have you guys been up to? All right. So <laughs> we've, we've been in existence since 1917, so over 100 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we started in Chicago and we've expanded to over 200 countries um, in geographical locations and around the world. Right. We have 1.4 million members in 47,000 clubs. In Little Trinidad, Little the Caribbean, we have just over 3,000 members. In Trinidad and Tobago, in my district, 60A, we have just about 1,617 members for now. I love how you say this as if you don't know the exact <laughs> figure. Just about. Just about. You know, we're always interested in having more members come into our fold. Really? Yes, yes, yes. We are always trying to recruit mem members because, of course, we can't do anything without members. This is true. And, you know, we have been our main goal of course our vision is to be the, the global humanitarian service organization in the world and we have five global causes which we are mandated to work get work for so we have we deal with vision right. diabetes mm -hmm. hunger the environment and childhood cancer so that's our area of focus and of course I must say our motto is to serve and that's our core. We we serve. We can't do anything better. That's that's what we are. We serve our communities. We want to have impactful service projects so that we can bring healing and well being well feelings to the people in, within our the communities that we serve. Right. Yeah. And I mean we, we can go even deeper into mm -hmm. essentially the role of volunteerism because mm -hmm. that shows the numbers, the districts, the distance that you have covered, mm -hmm. shows that there is that innate need or sense of community that yes. is built and giving back to community being That's a very right. important facet. So yeah. in terms of these five areas of focus, mm -hmm. how are we going to use those distinctions to give back to community this time around? Okay, so for example, this month September we have di sorry um, diabetes awareness month. Okay. So sorry, diabetes is is November. My, my bad. Oh, okay. Childhood cancer is in sep is in the month of September. Okay. So of course we celebrate that, and we try to we've done we've done a lot of work with the Just Because Foundation in okay. Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. but of course in the different countries, Suriname and Guyana, there are. Um, projects that we would embark on to ensure that we bring awareness to our communities about childhood cancer. And What do mm. these projects actually look like? All Are right. we talking about, uh, especially coming out of the mm. pandemic, digital yeah. presentations, physical in-person visits, right. caravans, what do we use? Right, so the we know that the um, COVID did impact us as lions, but as I say to my, my, my members of my organization, we are resilient and we did what we had to do. We continue to serve. And yes, it was in a different way. Right. You know, we had to do our projects in a different manner. We came up with innovative um, projects, um, but we were able to still meet the needs of our communities. For example, in the environment, we would have done cleanups. We did projects in terms of recycling. Uh, we'd had a project with where we recycled old telephones and so on. But How did the, that work? Um, it, we had a good turn, a good response actually. Really? But, I yeah. feel like relics like your phone people may not want to get rid of. No, we <laughs> actually had a good turn, but okay. that would have been about two years ago. Ah, yeah, that pre pandemic. Was two, 
pre-pandemic. A but good this time year, to clean out. Yes, <laughs> yes. But this year, we, you know, we focus on the environment again, mm -hmm. um, and we will continue to do our work within the communities, cleaning up the beaches, recycling plastic. Maybe we might do phones again. <laughs> Who knows, who knows? And of course, we have diabetes, which is one of our main focuses, focus for the um, for, for service, as I said. Right. And we celebrate Diabetes Awareness Month in November. November. Mm -hmm. so, so it sounds like we have a calendar of events that we can look forward pretty to. Pretty much, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Busy, busy, busy. Pretty much. That means, though, when you're busy, you're going to need more volunteers. Correct. So how does one become a lion? Ah. Uh, how do you become a, a lion? You can just ask, but of course, we have to screen you mm. and make sure that, you know, because I know people want to join the organization to serve, right. but there is more about just serving because in lionism, you have an opportunity to grow, to lionism. hone your, that's right. I like that. You're <laughs> able to hone your leadership skills. Okay. There's a lot of learning opportunities for lions, you know, and there is, I must say, there is some financial responsibility. Even though we're, it's a volunteer organization, um, there is financial responsibility. Of course, of course. So, have you know, to so we have to tell people what it's all about and let them know that you still have some financial responsibility. Which makes complete <laughs> sense. Now, as much as you've uh, quoted the digits for me, quoted <laughs> the locations, <laughs> describe to me a little bit as to what your function or role is as okay. district governor. Because from the sound of things, there will be a lot of coordination. There will be a lot of virtual meetings. There will be a lot of work that you have to do across mm -hmm. the region. What does that look like? Well, as the district governor, I, do, I don't work alone. I have a team. Right. I have a cabinet, as we call it. So I have region chairpersons, I have zone chairpersons, I have marketing person personnel, so I can't do it all on my own. Right. And yes, we've had to move to the virtual um, world of meetings because I'm required to visit all my clubs within my the fiscal year. And I should say the fiscal year runs, runs from July 1st to May 30th. Mm -hmm. So I have to, I'm required to visit all my clubs within that, that period, so. And having brought up fiscal, <laughs> you will continue to uh, raise funds and, dish yes. and utilize those funds oh, within yes. those communities. Oh, yes. So let's get a little bit of an update of some of those sorts of numbers and actual activities that they will have gone towards. All right. Um, funds. We have to raise funds. All right. We raise the funds from the public nice. because we gi and we give it back. Nice. So that's what our service. We have to do fundraisers. We've had... Quite a, we have 24 clubs in Trinidad and Tobago, so mm -hmm. stretching from Diego Martin to Tobago, San Fernando, we have clubs east, west, north, south. Right. So each club comes up with their own kind of project that they would want to do, but of course within the realms of the global causes areas that I would have mentioned to you. Right. So um, no, numbers wise, I know we each I can't tell you the numbers that each club raises, mm -hmm. but you have to raise the funds in order to give back. To course, the community, of course, of course. yeah. And speaking of those clubs, mm -hmm. we have uh, lions and we have leos. Leos, leos would be our the juniors uh -huh. or the, the younger versions of lions. Of course, the the leos are our future. Right. So it is hoped that leos would transition to become lions. So there's an age difference. There is. There what is. What is the age of the leo then? <laughs> okay, so we have two two types of leos. You have the alpha leos, which mm -hmm. would be from 13 to 16. 18 mm -hmm. and then you have 18 to 35 which would be the omega li leos sorry okay, so you have okay. two types of leos and, and i understand that there is a university of sorts um there is a lions university <laughs> so persons can go on and do the, the, the different courses ah. and get their bachelors and yeah yeah, so this yeah. sounds like its own little community. <laughs> it is. That to be is. quite true. It it's is. really great to be a part of it because is. I think, especially with all this despair and all of the complexities of the world these days, it's a feel-good situation it that is. you see the fruit of your labor for. It is. It's so I, that makes complete sense. It is because you you're able to give back, you know. And I think for me, I really feel a sense of being I don't know you know because I'm able to give back to my community you know and as I said we serve that's our motto that's what we do <laughs> so we've got young we've got well sorry Old. Leo's we've got <laughs> lions. lions we've got lion universities we've got, universities. We've got districts across the Caribbean and we have a full calendar of events we that do. we are covering we do. 
if we want to become a line, you said we can just ask. Just us. There's, as I said, there are clubs throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Of course, we're we're in Trinidad and Tobago, right. so get to someone who is a lion and just ask. But of course, as I said, we have to screen you to make sure that you are within our, you know, realm of, of becoming a lion. A good part of the cohort. Yes. Need a quality have, member. Ah, that's exactly <laughs> quality what member. I'm about to say. Particular, well, qualities, so to speak. That's correct. And that's in that correct. case, where can we find a lion next? Where can you find the lions next? Hmm. We have what's coming up next. We have we a uh, diabetes month is coming up in November, so we do have a few activities planned mm -hmm. in September the 19th. Actually, this weekend we do have a screening that we're doing together with the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago. So persons are free to go to the Lions Culture Center. Mm -hmm. It's from. I think it's from 9 to 6, 9 to, nine to 12, sorry, and they're free to go there, but you have to make an appointment. Um, the number escapes me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the number, but um, we do have um, screening for diabetes at the Culture Center this week. Will the screening be free? Okay, it is free. Course. It is free. Beautiful. It is free. It's, it's so free. We'll, we'll be doing some screening. We'll be going throughout the country, I imagine. And of yes. course, in terms of online and social media, are we able to find you? Oh, there definitely. Well? We <laughs> are on Facebook. We have to sh we have to sell the world what we do. We have to sell <laughs> ourselves because we don't want to be that best kept secret, as we say. And so we are on Facebook. Our um, website, our Facebook hashtag or tag, you can find us as, as Lions and Leos of Trinidad and Tobago, Suriname and Guyana. So we are on Facebook, yes. So Beautiful you can feel stuff. free, you can go on and see what we're doing, what the clubs are doing, yeah. Well, District Governor Kazawan, you have a full, <laughs> I want to say year ahead of you, although he is almost done, but Not yet. I know at the Just end started. of the fiscal, <laughs> they'll be planning for the next. Yes. So yeah. we wish you best of luck in your continued efforts throughout the region and your district. Thank and you. we look forward to hearing an update from you pretty soon again. Thank you. So Thank welcome you to the Our Morning Show again. Thank and you. for now, if you want to be a lion, find them online. But for now, we take a break and come back with more right here on Now. Stick around, guys.